it's fine, but then this section down here, the plant just, why is it wilting? Sure, one day these will come in useful. Today is gonna be number 12. So the daily vlog's going well, but more than anything, I'm feeling this desire to actually go and see a different country or see a different place. Because when I started this vlog, obviously, the reason that I started it was because when I went to China and I did a daily vlog there, it pushed me to do things that I maybe otherwise wouldn't have done. And, you know, it sort of made me more inspired to do things that firstly would look good on a vlog, but then as a result of them looking good on a vlog, they also look good in real life. And so it pushed me to do things that were really inspiring and interesting. But since I've made this pledge to do a daily vlog for a year, it sort of feels weird not being in a different country doing exciting things, you know, sort of around the house and, you know, while that is cool and I've tried to make an interesting video every day, it, I need something different. I need, a, I need to go on a trip. So I'm going to be in the near future going on a small trip, which I'll take you guys with me and show you. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take a slight turn with this vlog. And because basically I've been using this phone, I've got the iPhone 8 now, and I've been using this camera because it's just so easy to use and so good. But is it actually better than my normal vlogging camera, which is the Sony DC, DSCWX500? And so that's what I'm going to be finding out in this video. So this is going to be a comparison between the Sony and the iPhone 8. Right, so obviously I'm going to try and get these things as close as I can to each other. This is just a basic test of me talking. I don't know which lens to look in even. So this is the iPhone here and this is a Sony. I'm actually going to set up a quick light just to see. Actually, no, firstly, this is just a test in fairly bad lighting conditions. Okay, so this is just in my room. The curtains are closed and it's not very good lighting for vlogging. Normally I would have the curtains open, maybe I'd have the light on me. So this, this is a test of the audio. So this is gonna be using the audio from the iPhone. And then this from now is gonna be using the audio from the Sony. And hopefully you can tell the difference, but you know, to be honest, I don't know which one is gonna be better. I feel like maybe the picture will be better on the iPhone because it's 4K, but maybe the sound will be better on the Sony. I'm kind of hoping that's the case because then there'll be some reason to use either one as opposed to just always using the iPhone because, you know, new vlogging camera, you, you want to be able to use these things, right? Okay, so I'm now going to go and put some lighting on me and just see what sort of difference that makes. I'm now going to go and put some lighting on me and just see what sort of difference that makes. This is just a soft light on me in my room. The, st the lighting still isn't great because normally I would have the cameras sort of directly in front of the lights, so there's just a soft light on me in my room. The, st the lighting still isn't great because normally I would have the cameras sort of directly in front of the light so that it goes directly onto my face. But then the Sony is kind of like specifically for vlogging, so I'm hoping that that would actually be good. Anyway, what I'll probably do is put these videos side by side if they're not already side by side. To be honest, I have no idea which one's gonna be better. I mean, the phone would be useful because then it's sort of, you always have your phone with you, you can always vlog, but then the Sony is kind of like specifically for vlogging, so I'm hoping that that would actually be... So, okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these things on a small walk around the house and see whether they can sort of adapt to various lighting situations and uh, generally see how they do. Okay, so to do this, I'm just gonna take this Sony off the tripod and just carry it around with me like this. So they should get the exact same shot. So we're just gonna walk around and see how the lighting adapts. I'm, I feel like the iPhone lighting will be better simply because, simply because iPhone is quite good usually for this sort of thing. But I might be completely wrong, I have no idea. All I can see is the Sony screen I can see the Sony screen. I can't see what the iPhone's seeing at all. So this might be completely, yeah. And now I'm gonna do a focus test. So we're gonna to go to the background, background there, and then onto me again and see how quickly the focus, I feel like the iPhone will focus a lot faster. So I'll try that one more time. So I'll go somewhere in the background and then quickly back to me and see which one focuses faster. This will be quite interesting. I'm, I'm excited to see which one will be better. Anyway. Okay, so we're just gonna go back upstairs. Now that's pretty much the test done. I can see the Sony is picking up a lot of dark shadows and stuff as I walk up the stairs. No idea what the iPhone's seeing. And then we'll go back in here. Okay, 